Hello, my name is Derek G. Hamlin, and welcome to the next installment of my video blog on HamlinLegal.com. I've represented hundreds of clients in the state of Maryland and the District of Columbia, and many of them share similar misconceptions about the law. Today, we'll discuss a few of those misconceptions. Another question I often receive is, does the search warrant left at my home after a house raid have to be signed by a judge? Believe it or not, the answer is no. The judge is required to sign the search warrant, and a copy of the original search warrant signed by the judge can be obtained by your attorney. However, the copy left at your home should never be signed by a judge. In fact, police officers are required to cover up or white out the judge's signature when making copies. This is to prevent criminals from forging the judge's signature on release papers and other court documents. So don't ever expect to see the judge's signature on a warrant left at your home. Another question I often receive is does an undercover police officer have to tell me he's a police officer if I ask him? Contrary to what many people believe, the answer again is no. The whole purpose of an officer being undercover is to make you believe that he is not an officer. So why would he tell you he's an officer just because you asked him? In fact, many people believe in certain areas of the law, such as prostitution or drug dealing, that when they ask an officer, they have to disclose that they're an officer. This simply is not true. Don't ever expect a person posing as a prostitute, a John, a drug dealer or an addict to ever disclose that they are an officer. You will eventually find out they're an officer when they go to arrest you. But just because you ask them are they an officer, they're not going to tell you. I hope you found this blog helpful and come back to HamlinLegal.com for more blogs. If you have questions about your case, give us a call at 410-637-3001. Thank you.